Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Minutes with Grover. One of the keys to a high performing spindle is routine spindle maintenance. Low spindle clamp forces can cause chatter during the machining process, which leads to poor part quality and shortens the life of tools. Checking the clamp force quarterly will verify that your spindle is within spec, so adjustments can be made before they cause downtime. To start, we will check the drawbar length. To do this, you will need a depth gauge. Confirm the depth gauge you are using is zeroed before measuring. Next, unclamp the spindle using the clamp unclamp button in the HMI. Measure the distance between the flat spots on the OT clamp and the tool rest pads on the spindle face. Then record the number. Next, remove the spindle clamp force tool from its case and zero the device by pressing the clear button. With the tool in your hand, verify that it reads zero kilonewtons. With the spindle already unclamped, insert the clamp force tool into the spindle taper. Be sure the tool is oriented correctly. Then clamp the spindle by pressing the spindle clamp unclamp button again in the HMI. Once the spindle is clamped, check the display on the gauge and record the number. Consult your documentation to verify that both the depth measurement and clamp force reading is within the range for your specific spindle type. Join us in our upcoming video to learn how to properly service your spindle clamping set. Until then, stay productive, keep cutting, and we'll catch you next time.